In EDLD 5303, what we often refer to as the ePortfolio course, your big hairy audacious goal or the course goal or the major learning outcome is that you will create an ePortfolio to share your work, reflect on your growth and develop your voice. It's all about building this digital platform that you can communicate your meaningful connections and share your ideas. Um, this main goal of creating an ePortfolio is realized through uh, the following foundational outcomes where you're going to be analyzing and applying the principles of effective ePortfolio practice. You're going to be taking a look at what should be used, how to find your voice, how to choose the components that you're going to use in your reflective practice. Um, who owns ePortfolio is going to be a significant component. And then there's a variety of different activities and assessments that come together. A lot of ePortfolio posts, um, but it's all pulled together in the in the form of you developing this ePortfolio platform that you're going to use for the remainder of the program, not just in this course, but in other courses and the remainder of the program. All your work is going to be presented through this ePortfolio, so it's going to be really important. You're going to be posting on a weekly basis, one or two, maybe even three times. And so you're going to get into this practice of posting, making meaningful connections, and sharing your work. And then all this is culminated in a final uh, compilation post where you pull all your ideas together, you share what you've learned and uh, what you have developed in this final compilation post that highlights your ePortfolio. So this is the ePortfolio, very, very important part of the whole ADL program. Now, the key question is, how do I build it? How do you build it? How, how are we going to help you build it? This is where I'm going to show you some very useful resources that you can use um, on a daily basis. Now, in weeks one to three, the big picture, this is where we basically talk about the ePortfolio assignment. In the resources section, we point you to a variety of links, and all of these links lead to Dr. Harapnik's or my ePortfolio. And this is going to be really important for you to utilize and to learn from. And before I show you these resources, I, I want to explain something that is really significant. There is nothing that we're going to ask you to do that we haven't done ourselves. So if we're going to ask you to build an ePortfolio, well, the reason is, is that I have built an ePortfolio. And I'm going to take you to my ePortfolio. And on my ePortfolio, I am taking you through my ePortfolio resources, where you can learn about the minimalist, minimalist fundamentals of an ePortfolio. You learn about why it's going to be important, how to do it, how to build it, who owns it, all these key things. So if you take a look at the actual course again, you'll notice that each one of these sections, these links will go to another section on my ePortfolio. Okay, so rather than have you work through something that is vague, maybe a textbook or another internet resource, it's going to be more important that I take you to the sections of my ePortfolio that will help you to build your ePortfolio. Remember, we're not asking you to do something that we don't do ourselves. And so rather than have you work within Blackboard itself for the resources or other other places, the best resource that I'm going to point you to is my ePortfolio. So while I'm showing you the key ideas of how to make those digital connections, um, you're also on my ePortfolio where you have a chance to take a look at, well, who the heck is this Dr. Harapnik character? You can take a look at my um, About page and get a sense of who I am. You can take a look at videos that I've created, my story, my digital story about why I do what I do. All these things are going to be important to you as you develop your own ePortfolio because one of the things we're going to ask you to do is build your own About page. So all the things we're asking you to do are things we do ourselves. This is extremely important for you to understand. And on this ePortfolio, you also have wonderful resources about the ADL program. You know, the ADL Tips and Perspectives page, right? Very, very helpful. And from this page, you can actually take a look at the 5303 tips. Okay. And so throughout this entire program, you have the opportunity to utilize my ePortfolio while you build your ePortfolio and while you add more and more components to ePortfolio. So again, I am using this wonderful WordPress tool. I'm using WordPress as my ePortfolio. I'm using this tool to share tons of resources that you can use when you're building your ePortfolio. 
this is a key thing. So when we go back to your resources page, I'm going to be, this video I'm making right here, I'm going to be dropping into this resources page as well. And so, um, you're, you're, you're having a, a, an open window to the development process of, um, helping this existing group of learners and future learners, um, you know, learn more about developing a portfolio. So again, all these resources that you're going to be looking at will be located on my ePortfolio as opposed to being in Blackboard. So when you see one of these links, think back to this video, right? I'm pointing you to my ePortfolio as an example of what yours may look like. When I say may look like, use my ideas as a starting point, but build, explore, experiment. I would expect you to go much further than this old man with gray hair um, and, and what he's done. You know, as, as you um, have an opportunity to build and develop your ePortfolio to share your meaningful connections with, with others, take what you've learned from me and build on it and grow and develop an amazing, wonderful resource that you then can share with others.